And is that for the Action Property Management Company? That's correct. How long have you been employed at the Eastern Columbia Building? Approximately 13 years. And could you please describe what kind of work you do for the Eastern Columbia Building? Most of it is just access control and I uh, deal with a lot of uh, residents uh, regarding their packages and uh, food deliveries. Okay. And have you done that pretty much the whole 10 years? That's correct. I'm going to take you back to 2015 and 2016 for a moment. How many okay. people, how many people would you say would go through the building on any particular day in that time? We're talking uh, about tenants and visitors. I cannot say a number because uh, there's there, there's 147 units in the building, and there's uh, there are visitors, uh, guests, friends. Uh, uh, actually, we used to send delivery people out. We don't send it anymore because of the COVID. Uh, but I cannot tell you a number. There's thousands of people probably. Have you ever met Johnny Dell? I saw him a couple of times. Okay. Do you remember what Mr. Depp was wearing on any of those occasions? Nope. Do you remember what jewelry he had on? Nope. Do you remember what headgear he was wearing, he was wearing a scarf or a hat. No. Do you remember whether Mr. Depp was wearing any makeup or eyeliner? No, nope, I don't remember. No. Nope. You couldn't tell me one way or the other, right? No. Um, do you know whether Mr. Depp has had ever been physically violent with Amber Heard? And by this, I mean hitting, punching, throwing objects at her, kicking her, headbutting her. You know one way or the other whether Mr. Depp ever did that to Ms. Hurt? Nope. Have you ever seen Mr. Depp uh, slam things around or be angry? No, I have never seen him like that. I'm going to ask you some questions now about Amber Heard. When did you first meet Amber Heard? Um, I believe I, uh, she was dancing on the lobby. I met her at the front desk. I got to interact more with uh, her sister, Whitney, I believe her, that's her name, and uh, her good friend, uh, Raquel, Rocky. And, uh, but Amber, I only see her like once in a while when she was, uh, sometimes used to get packages. Do you recall whether Ms. Heard became a resident sometime around March 2016? Don't remember. Could you tell me one way or the other? I just can't remember. Like I said, it's been so long, I just don't remember. And like, I know you guys sent me the papers to review and I'm gonna be honest, I don't didn't want to review them because it's been so long. It's like, uh, it's, I just don't want to deal with this anymore. Yes, I went through the written statement and it's everything that is written there, that's what I said. Okay. And that was correct, it was, that was accurate. Okay. That's why I signed it. So during the time between 2015 and 2016, how many times would you say total that you interacted with Amber Heard? For a whole year, I, I, I don't, I can give you a number. Because it could be like probably I'll see, I would probably saw Amber for three times in one day. Probably I'll see like five times, or probably I will never see him for a whole week. So I don't have like there's not never been a routine. Okay. How would you describe Amber Heard's interactions with you? Were they friendly? Would she smile at you? Would she talk with you? She was really friendly. She always smiled. And, but she, we never had like a, like a uh, interaction as a, as, as really close relationship. Like, uh, like I do with some of the other residents. She okay. never told me any of her problems. She never stopped by and talked about her personal life. She never did that. They're asking you about uh, a date that you recall seeing Amber Heard 
on May 25th, 2016. Do you see that? Yes, I do. And you said, probably, I just can't remember the days. I've got a really bad memory for dates. Did you see that? Yep. So, Mr. Romero, would you at any time be able to remember what type of clothing Amber Heard was wearing from one of her events? Nope, I don't remember. Um, would you remember on any daily basis uh, what type of hairstyle she was wearing? Nope. Would you remember on any type of basis uh, what type of uh, uh, bag she was Amber Heard was carrying? No. Would you be able to say uh, whether she Amber Heard was dressed up or casual on any given day? No. Would you be able to uh, say whether she was what type of makeup Amber Heard was wearing on any given day? No. Would you be able to say, for example, whether Amber Heard had on concealer or foundation on any given day? No. Would you be able to say whether Amber Heard had on blush or powder on any given day? No. Would you be able to say whether Amber Heard had a mascara or eyeliner on any given day? No. How about eyebrow pencil or lip pencil? No. Do you have any mem memories of Amber Heard uh, wearing a particular type of makeup with a type of outfit? No. If you were asked uh, to describe uh, any characteristics of Amber Heard from two days earlier without knowing you were going to be asked, would you be able to testify no. to any of those, what she was wearing, what her makeup was, what her hairstyle was? No, I won't, probably won't remember. When is the first time that you recall anyone saying anything to you about the police being called at the EC building because of a domestic dispute between Mr. Depp and Amber Heard? Well, uh, to answer your question, whatever happened, it happened on a Saturday. I don't work Saturday. When I got there on Monday, they asked me, oh, you heard what happened? And I said, no, what happened? So that's how I find out. Then okay. I, I went to the, I went to the cameras and see what what was what was going on. Then as soon as I saw Johnny Depp on the camera on the elevator, just walking back and forward on the camera in the elevator, I said, "Okay, I know that was Tim," and that's all I knew. But I was never I was never I was not there on that Saturday when that happened. I think I believe that that whatever that happened, they say it happened. They when they call the police. I believe it was it was on a Saturday, and I was not there. Okay. Do you recall who told you that on that Monday following the Saturday? Okay, Don. As a matter of fact, I think it was one of the residents that they approached to me, and they said uh, there was a lot of noise because the person was working out on the gym that's next to the penthouse. They heard a bunch of noise. And that's it. And I, that's why I checked the camera and said, and when I looked at the cameras and I saw Johnny, like I said, was just walking back and forward in the elevator. And I said like, okay, all right. Okay. No, I, I'll, I'll try to figure it out. And I didn't say anything more. I turned up the camera and that's it. So the first part of that, who's somebody was working out and heard noise. Someone was working out on the gym. And heard the noise to hear from, uh, a lot of noise in the hallway because it's really rare to hear anything because most of the time uh the penthouse level is is really quiet okay do you remember who the person was in the gym that heard a lot of noise in the penthouse that night that's correct i do remember the person who is it uh I remember the person has been a resident in the building for a long time. I just don't remember I don't remember her name. And where is the gym in comparison to 
the penthouse that's owned by Mr. Depp. Like I said, Johnny Depp owns all the penthouse and the and below the clock. The gym is six. the gym of the Eastern Columbia building is just in front of one of the penthouses. You actually can see it through the window. You can see the gym through a window of the penthouse, or you can see the penthouse through a window of the gym. You can see the the gym through one of the windows to the penthouse, and they have the patio that leads to the gym. Penthouse has the patio to lead to the gym. Okay. And this can, if you if you think of her name while you're, you know, even if we're asking other questions, please let me know. This this. Tenant, this is a resident there, right? That, that saw this. Yeah, I believe her name is uh, Shana. And, and so she told you she heard a lot of noise. That's correct. Did she describe anything, uh, voices, uh, any objects, anything like that? No, she just said it was a noise. Uh, not just noise, and that uh, she was just. A because like I said, it's always really quiet. Okay. And so she wanted to know what happened. And so you went to the video cameras to look at video. How did you know when to look for them? Because she got the time. She got the time that she was working out. That's why I, I, I figured out the track, the, the time and the camera and look. And then when I saw, as soon as I saw, like I said, Johnny Depp, walking back and forth in the other, I turn off the camera and I figured out, okay, this is what happened. I figured out if we wanted to together, so I said, okay. When you said you figured out what happened after you saw Johnny Depp in the elevator, what did you figure out had happened? I figured out that was, that was, that that's why they called the cops, the police. Because why? Because of the, because of the noise that was on the penthouse level. Mr. Romero, I'm going to ask you to look at, this is a uh, video clip uh, marked as Romero exhibit number eight. It shows a date and time stamp near the bottom. Do you recognize this as the elevator at ECB building? That's correct. Mr. Romero, you're nodding. Is this the video that you remember looking at after Shauna told you that she heard the noise that night? That's correct. And that's Mr. Depp? Correct. Do you recognize the other two men in the elevator? I recognize uh, the guy in front of the elevator button. That's his uh, personal bodyguard. The other guy, uh, I've seen him before, but uh, I never interact with him. If I did, I don't remember. You said he looked He's agitated? Right. Yeah, he looked agitated. Like he was walking back and forward. He took his jacket, his body language it was uh, different of, uh, than before. Most of the time, he's really calm. He's just like really happy person. 
Yeah, like, this is the first time I saw him like that. And then you go to the next, so then you say Wednesday, May 25th. At approximately 10.30, Ms. Heard walked into the lobby accompanied by Ms. Raquel Pennington. That's the person you called Rocky earlier. Do you remember her? Yes, that's correct. Okay. And you said that Ms. Heard approached you to ask you for the key to her unit, which you gave her. And you said we did not discuss anything else at that time. Correct. And Ms. Heard stood approximately three feet away from you. I did not notice any bruises, cuts, swelling, red marks, or any other injuries of any kind on Ms. Heard's face. Do you see that? Correct. Okay. But you weren't looking for bruises, cuts, swelling, red marks, or any other injuries on Ms. Heard's face that night, were you? I was not looking for any marks or bruises or anything, uh, but something like that it will be really noticeable, but I guess, you know, I wasn't not looking. I was more focusing on what my job duties was, like getting the key, and also this, I gave him the key, and they were talking about, I told her, you know what, your dog, I was talking with Raquel because her dog got out of her unit. And that was one of, one of my concerns. I was told, you know what? I saw your dog was outside. He didn't want me to get get too close to it. So it's still out there. You know, on the penthouse area, the dog will be fine because it's not, like I said, it's always really quiet. And Mr. Depp owns everything up there. So it will be fine. So that was one, one of my concerns. That was my job. I was just taking care of that. I was not trying to say, oh, let me see your face. No. So, and that's where I'm going to follow up. Do you remember what Ms. Heard was wearing that night? No. Do you remember whether she was dressed up? No. Do you remember where she was coming from, that she was coming home at 1030 at night with Ms. Penny? No, I don't remember. They didn't mention to me. She was actually, she was on the phone. She was with Raquel in front of me. We were talking about it, and then she left to the lobby, where she was still on the phone. So I was, remember, focusing, I was focusing more on Raquel because she, they want, I was telling about her dog. Okay. Do you remember what hairstyle Ms. Heard had that night? No. Nope. Do you know what type of makeup Amber Heard was wearing that night? No. Can you tell me whether she was wearing concealer or foundation? No. Could you tell me whether she was wearing blush? No. Could you tell me whether she was wearing any type of, any kind of eye makeup? No. So who wrote the sentence, I did not notice any bruises, cuts, swelling, red marks, or any other injuries of any kind in this bird's face? I'm pretty sure if I would have said something like that, I would have said something. Mr. Romero, I, I, didn't, I, didn't, I didn't saw any marks or bruises on her face. I don't just don't recall. I don't saw anything. She was just standing in front of me. I'm asking specifically, I did not notice any bruises, cuts, swelling, red marks, or any other injuries of any kind to Ms. Heard's face. Who wrote that's that? What, that's what I said. I didn't saw any marks or bruises on her face. That's what I said. But who, they, asked, they asked me, they asked me if I remember seeing anything I said, I just don't recall seeing any marks or bruises because she was just sitting in front of me. I just don't remember any, seeing anything. I just don't remember. If it, how it would have been so obvious, like someone had like a black eye, I would have like, whoa, you know, I would have seen that. And I would have remembered because it's something that you will you will see. You're like so noticeable, like you will, all, like, you will remember. But when I was there talking to her, she was like three feet away from me. She was right in front of me. I just don't remember seeing any marks, bruises, or anything. But you don't know whether she was wearing makeup to cover it, do you? No, I don't know. I, I, she was wearing any makeup there to cover it, probably. You know, the, the probably would you would probably would cover any bruise, but you cannot cover the swollen. 
Were you looking for swelling? No. I can say I was not looking for anything. In fact, you were spending more time talking to Rocky about her dog, were you not? That's, that's correct, but I got I to gotta have it. I, uh, when I'm talking to someone, I look into their eyes. And when I was talking to uh, Amber and Rocky, I always look into their eyes. Okay. And I will probably would notice like any swollen or bruise, like I said, I would probably would notice. It's fair to say, Mr. Romero, that you can't say that Amber Heard had injuries or did not have injuries that day on the 25th? I don't remember. Okay. Like I, said, I would probably remember the swollen, but I didn't saw anything. I don't re just don't remember. And you don't remember seeing anything, right? But do you remember even looking? I remember. Okay. I remember. I re okay, I'm, I'm, I'm really sorry, but I remember. I gotta tell the whole story. How they got there? Before they got, they went and get the keys. They come down. They say somebody tried to get into my unit. They scratches on my door. And say. And like, um, um, I'm really sorry, but who will think it's gonna get into your unit because it's saw some scratches on the door, like what, four inches above the door? Because the dog was scratching the door, was trying to get in, and they thought about someone trying to break into the their, their unit. I said, oh, in my head, I was like, you really, you think someone's trying to get into your unit? The scratches like four inches above your the floor and your door that was the dog trying to get into the unit they were so afraid oh somebody's trying to get into my unit They're like oh come on really and i actually when they asked me to go inside the unit just to check room by room to make sure that no one was there so i did that as part of my job make sure they're safe but I like really, I didn't understand why they want me to do that. Like, oh, I don't know. I, I just so stressed out because of this. I just don't want to deal with this anymore. I'm tired. I don't want to deal with this court case. I, everybody got problems. And I don't want to deal with this no more. I don't know how to. I don't want to put this in any more words. The interaction you just testified about with Amber Heard and Rocky Pennington and talking about the dog and going up and checking out the penthouse, none of that was on video footage, correct? That's correct. We don't have cameras in the video. I'm um, sorry, we don't have cameras in the hallway. We okay. don't have cameras on the hallway. I'm going to show you uh, what has been marked as Romero de exhibit number one is a deposition that you was taken of you on July 19, 2016. Now that's approximately two months after the May 21, 2016 incident. Um, and I, do you recall giving that deposition? 16 probably did, I don't remember. Okay. I'm going to take you to page 35. And you were asked, this is the same incident that you're talking about now. Okay, and it's talking about, okay, you spoke with Amber at the front desk, later saw her in the lobby, later went upstairs with her. It says the question at line six, I just want to go back for a second here. You said several times in answer to my questions that you didn't recall seeing any marks on Amber's face. When you say you didn't recall seeing any of those marks, any marks, did you mean that you didn't see any marks on her face? And your answer then was, I say that because when I saw Amber, I was not looking to see anything on her face. I was not looking to see anything. Do you recall giving that testimony on the under oath 
back at that time two months after the incident? Yes, I, do, I remember. Because like I said, I was, I always make eye contact with someone that I'm talking to, but I'm not looking to find something like, like, oh, your makeup is wrong, uh, you, you haven't uh, have changed your eyebrows, or your uh, eyelashes are not even, or I'm not looking for anything. I'm just looking at their eyes, and I'm, looking, I'm not looking for anything else. But if I see something, I will re probably will remember. If you saw something, right? Yeah, I, I would have probably would see, like, if she had a swollen, like, if she was wearing makeup, probably would have been seeing the swollen. I probably would remember that. But I was not looking for anything. I was like, oh, you know. How, how swollen was Amber on the 25th of May? How swollen was her cheek? Well, that according to the pictures you, you, I've been seeing right now that you're showing me, it was pretty swollen. I would probably will remember that. How many days later did you see her from that swelling? That was on a Wednesday. That was from Saturday to Wednesday. Right. How many right. days would it be fair to say that you cannot testify one way or the other whether Amber Heard was domestically abused by Johnny Depp on May 21, 2016? I, can't, I cannot say that. I would, not, I would not agree to testify against anyone of domestic violence because I was not there. I didn't see anything. I didn't hear anything. I was not there. I was never there. I was probably hundreds of miles away and got no idea what happened that day. And do you remember that there was pictures of wine, a glass of wine and bottle of wine, wine stains on the floor outside of the, uh, in the hallway of the penthouse from May 21st, 2016. I remember trying to mark that. I'm not going to say it was wine. All right. Well, it, you're, you're I, I'm not an expert. Ladies and gentlemen, the next portion of this deposition contains questions asked by counsel for Mr. Depp. here today when you saw her at the front desk on march 25th you didn't see any bruising correct all right and you didn't see uh, that correct? that's correct i didn't see any marks or bruises you didn't see any swelling either did you mr romero that's correct no swelling and she at was all. only and she was only three or four feet away from you correct correct and you were looking right into her face squarely, correct? Correct. And the lighting was good at the front desk, correct? Objection. Correct. It was so good that had she had any bruises, swelling, or marks on her face, you would have noticed that, correct? That's correct. And then later that later that same day, and you testified to this already today, later that same day you went up the elevator with Ms. Hurd and Ms. Pennington uh, in connection with their request for you to check the penthouse, correct? That's correct. And during that entire uh, period of time, taking them up to the penthouse, walking through the penthouse, and then finally you leaving and going back to your desk, uh, you did not, you looked, you looked at Ms. Hurd during that time period, correct? That's correct. And you looked her in the face, squarely in the face, correct? Correct. And you didn't notice any swelling, correct? Correct. I'm sorry? Correct. I didn't saw anything. Did, did, you see, did you see any swelling? Objection. No. Did you see any bruises? No. Did you see any marks on her face of any kind? No marks at all. And again, just to repeat, when you were previously, when you were confronted, I was going to report the face. Did you see any uh, swelling on her face? No. Nope. See any bruises on her? No. Nope. Did you see any marks of any kind on her face? No marks at all. And how was the light down when you were at the reception and you were looking at her and didn't see any of this? How was the lighting? The lighting is actually pretty pretty good. It's not it's not dark at all. She was how far away? Apart. 
approximately like three, three, to, three to four feet apart. Were you looking her square in the face? Correct. Okay. And when you were up in the penthouse and you uh, were looking her square in the face, how far apart were you from her then? We yeah. actually were, yeah. were pretty close to each other. Uh, she was probably next, just next to me. She, she was telling me like, go into this uh, this um, this room, so I need to pass right in front of her. And do you recall seeing any bruises, swelling, redness, or any marks on Miss Hurd's face on May 24, 2016? I've seen anything. Ladies and gentlemen, at this point, the remainder of this deposition of this witness uh, contains questions by counsel for Ms. Hurd. I'm going to talk a little bit about the video clips that Mr. Depp's attorney showed you. Um, I'm going to ask you, first of all, Mr. Mr. Presidio showed you a number of video clips from May 24th. Do you recall that? May 24th? Yes. Yep. Now it's Tuesday. But in fact, you don't recall seeing Amber Heard on May 24th, correct? I don't remember. I don't even remember what I got for breakfast. Okay. Well, let's pull up exhibit number one. Let's stay on page 17. That's a good place. Um, mm -hmm. This is your deposition from July 19, 2016. Do you recall that? 19? Yeah. Okay. And that's... That was the in the morning. Okay. And it said here... Uh, did you work, so Saturday was the 21st. Did you work that day? No. Did you work Sunday, May 22nd? No. Did you work May 23rd? Yes. On May 23rd while you were working, did you see Amber at any time? I don't recall seeing her. Question, did you work on Tuesday, May 24th? Yes, I did. And, and on Tuesday, May 24th, at any time, did you see Amber? I don't recall seeing her. Do you remember that being your testimony two months after the events? No. Yeah. Okay. I just don't recall. I just don't remember. Okay. Um, and then I, while we're here, now, Mr. Uh, Presidio had you go through a number of video clips and ask you a bunch of questions about whether you saw swelling, whether you saw red marks, whether you saw all kinds of other things. Um, but in fact, um, I'm going to ask you, and tell me if you need me to bring up the videos and replay them. Can you tell me what type of of makeup Amber Heard was wearing in any of those videos? No, I can't, I can't tell you. Can you I didn't tell even me? know she was wearing any lipstick. Can you tell I don't me, know. Can you tell me whether Amber Heard was wearing concealer in any of those videos? Uh, no. Can you tell me whether Amber Heard was wearing any foundation in any of those videos? No, I can can't tell you. Can you tell me whether Amber Heard was wearing any blush in any of those videos? No. Can you tell me whether Amber Heard was wearing any powder on, in any of those videos? No, no, but she looks really pale. Well, do you know what shade of concealer or foundation or powder Ms. Heard uses or used at that no. time? No. Okay. Um, so you don't know whether Ms. Hurd was wearing makeup in every one of those video clips, correct? Correct. Right. Yep, I'm going to try to move along. So the incident was May 21st, 2016. You saw her the night of May 25th, correct? Correct. You said right. that you saw Amber Heard hundreds of sure. times while she was there. Amber Heard treat you well, and was she friendly to you in each of these hundreds of times? Yes, yes. I, I'm not going to say no because she was really always nice. All right, this I is my last be nice. All right, this is my last question. You testified in response to Mr. Presidio's questions um, that you testified truthfully in all of these occasions. 
Did you testify truthfully, truthfully to everything that you testified in response to my questions today? That's correct. All right. I, I did. All right. It's a good time to break for lunch. Uh, we'll just break a little early, so just don't talk to anybody. Don't do any outside research, and we'll see you at 2 o'clock, okay? Thank you.